Let's see here. It looks like our classic logic puzzle has our first volunteer stumped. Ah! This is tough. What about you at home? Have you figured out how many trips it would take? Transporting one item at a time across the river without leaving the fox alone with a chicken or the chicken alone with a grain? Or are you as lost as these folks? I know I can't do this, but I'm running out of options here. Take the chicken with the fox. Four, three, <laughs> no, no. two, one. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, uh, lose. Ah! For our last two volunteers, we're going to change it up a bit and let them work together as a team. Leverage that brain power. We got this. 30 <laughs> seconds, go. OK, I think the chicken needs to go first. All right. Because then we can move. No, then the grain's going to no, be no, on that no. side. If you put the grain here, then it's, the chicken's going to eat the grain. But if we put the fox there, then the chicken's going to be eaten by the fox. It looks like there are no moves left. But think back to the instructions. You can go back and forth as many times as you want. Does that clue give you any logical ideas? Maybe, maybe the fox here, but... But then he's gonna eat the chicken. Uh, can we move the chicken back? You can bring the chicken back, but you can't leave the chicken with the grain because he'll eat the grain. Okay, we gotta move the chicken back. Oh, and then we have to move yep. the grain. Oh, wait, oh. yep. There you go, yep. And then right... Perfect, right? Perfect. <laughs> there you go. High five. <laughs> that was great, guys. What about you at home? Did you think of backtracking with one of the objects? It takes a total of seven river crossings, which includes bringing the chicken back, a step most people don't see coming. Don't feel bad if you didn't get it. It's a tricky one. How did working together help you figure it out? Honestly, I wouldn't have figured out if she wouldn't have asked to bring the chicken back. We did it! <laughs> working with others exposes you to more ideas. You're no longer just relying on what you know and your experiences, you're also receiving the benefit of their experiences as well. You've heard the phrase, two heads are better than one? Well, it's true. Now that you've seen this problem in action, your mind will be more open to out-of-the-box thinking. Just by playing, you've gotten smarter. Now that you understand, you can apply those principles in the future. When I'm a farmer on a boat. The metaphor is there. <laughs> Research shows just by playing these kinds of games, you can improve your logical thinking. <laughs> Time to see how far you've come with another challenge. Here are five matches. We're going to make a little goat out of them. <laughs> see it? Here's the head, the neck, and here are the two legs. Moving only one matchstick, can you make another goat that faces a different direction? There's no trick to this. You just have to move one matchstick. You have 10 seconds. Here's a clue. Sometimes you need to look at a problem from another angle. Time's up. Did you figure it out? The answer is to simply move this matchstick and change your perspective. But don't worry if we got your goat. <laughs> See if you can figure out the twist to this last logic puzzle. All right, check it out. So I take this bottle cap, examine it, and I want you to tap under the bottle here and make sure it's a solid bottle, yes? Now look, I'm gonna show you how we put stuff inside bottles, just like that. Now you know. Can I, can I try that? Yeah, go ahead. Take it out. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, it doesn't work for me. I think logic has left the building.